Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons. We're going to talk about Critical Role, and most importantly, we're going to talk about Orion Okaba. Um, and we're specifically going to delve deeper into the Orion Okaba problem. And, um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, so first of all, I'm fascinated by Orion Okaba. So he played Tiberius Strongwind. Um, Tiberius Stormwind, I think. Tiberius Stormwind. Um, and I'm from Jacronia. <laughs> uh, and basically, so, Tiber so Orion Okaba was there at the beginning of Vox Machina. Vox Machina is now the most successful camp uh, Dungeons and Dragons campaign that has ever been put anywhere, bar none. And the reason why is it ha it, it ended, right? its current ending, right, and it's probably going to have multiple endings, right, is with an Amazon animated show, which was absolutely incredibly good, that I miss every day, I'm like, where's season two, right, like, uh, you know, and so, and also, like, Vox Machina's campaign has brought literally millions of collective hours of joy from millions of fans, right, like, it is, it is the pinnacle of success for any Dungeons & Dragons campaign ever played, and nothing even comes close. So, Orion Okaba, fascinating figure. He was there. He had a character that was in Vox Machina, the web show, but was gone in Vox Machina, the Amazon show, right? And what's interesting is, not just a little bit, 27 episodes, and Orion Okaba being in the beginning of the episodes, if you start... If you start Vox Machina, if you start Critical Role where it starts, you're going to run into one of their worst players of all times right there at the start, right? So that the so that the entry into Vox Machina, the entry into Critical Role is brutally damaged by this fascinating figure, Orion, you know, this dark shrouded figure, Orion Okaba, right? And he is important from so many angles, right? So one of the biggest ones is, I, you know, I'm always saying this. I'm saying Dungeons and Dragons is everything, right? Like it is like so important and it's so, and the idea that it is a game is ludicrously shallow view, held by only the most stunted intellects, right? Right? Like, and in my opinion, right? And, and people are like, oh, no, no, that's not the case, Scott. Well, like, look at La Orion Okaba, right? Vox Machina is a D&D campaign. It's a Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign. Say what you want. Pretend it's not. It is. It is D&D 5e to the core, to the bone, to the marrow. Right? And, and, and I know everybody wants to deny it. You can't. Critical Role is 5e. It is integral to their success. And a lot of people are saying, no, no, it's Scott. You could have done it with anything. You can't. Right? Like, there's no evidence to believe that. Right? So, but here's... Let's get all the way there on Ryan Okaba. Right? This D&D campaign proves a massive lie in our culture. An absolutely shocking massive lie in our culture. The family you choose, right? It's super popular. It's come up over the last years. You hear it everywhere. And many people point to critical role as it. Like the family you choose, right? You know, like the idea that Sam Rigel and Matthew Mercer's are brothers, right? And at this point, they're the family you choose, right? And people desperately want this to be true, right? And I get it, right? The reason why family you choose is so important, right? Is because this idea of there's many parents. Like I heard a, I heard a amazing quote the other day, right? Which I, I think I'm not positive this is. I think this is fascinating. I'm not saying it's right, okay? But they were like, there are no illegitimate children. There are illegitimate parents, right? And so many people want this this cultural icon, uh, this cultural truth to be true, right? Like um, we're stating it is true, but does the evidence support it, right? And so one of the things is, you know, this, uh, the family you choose, because so many parents have liter quite literally walked away from their children, right? And many, 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 many children are being raised with one parent now, right? And there's just absolutely no evidence that this is healthy for any children, for any child in the world, right? That, like, and correct me if I'm wrong, show me the reports are like, yeah, one parent's great. It works better than two parents all the time, or even half the time, or even a quarter of the time, right? Like, it, it, there's a lot of proof that it's not great, right? Like, so this family you choose, we desperately want this to be true, right? And 
and increase and and here's evidence right in this D and D game that it's not true. It's a lie, right? Like Family of Truths is it's crap. It's junk, right? It's 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 just not true, right? And here's why: Orion Akaba, he is right there at the beginning, right? He's the guy. You know, he had the he is the guy who had the golden ticket to the Wonka factory and got kicked out in the lobby, right? And he was there. He was friends with them, you know, like, and he just did. He bobbled it. He bobbled the ball in fifty different ways. And they're like, friends, you know, family, you choose until we don't. Bye, bye, Orion, and uh, enjoy your life. Seeing the massive success, glory, money, power, influence that you will never have. Bye bye. Bye. Right? And it it just shreds this concept of family you choose. Because the reality is Matthew, you know, like Matthew could kick Rigel out. Done. You want to see the proof? It's sitting right over there, Orion Okaba, right? Family you choose isn't true, right? Family family you choose is a falsity. It is friends you're friends with now. And you can dump them anytime you want. And the reality is, your family, you really can't dump. I know you got problems with them. I know there's issues, right? You know, but the reality is, family, family, blood, blood, right? Like, and if you don't share blood, Orion Akaba's true. It just takes, you know, it don't take that much for you to be on the outside looking in real quick, right? And then all this noise of family you choose just flutters away in the wind like confetti, right? And that's real. That's life. And D&D is shouting it to the sky, right? Truth and wisdom and philosophy saying, I know you like that concept, but it's not actually true. And here's a shockingly clear example of family you choose breaking, right? And it's not a reality. It's a falsity, right? Very, very, very interesting, right? Like, so... um, yeah, fascinating, fascinating. Uh, and actually, I don't even think, you know, I am absolutely fascinated with Orion Akaba. I have deep sympathy for him now. I think, I don't think they were wrong to get rid of him. I don't, I think, I don't, you know. Uh, and by the way, we're talking about this today because of Super Geek Mike's video, which is linked below, which gives incredible detail on why Orion Akaba was taken out, right? Got to watch it if you get a chance. Oh, that's my opinion. What do you think? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think there's any truth? Do you think anyone can look to uh, at what happened to Orion Akaba and, and still believe for a second that the family you choose is a truth and not a falsity? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.